now, but everything has to be planned down here, even and even on both sides, so that when you put your stem on, it's going to lay flat. If you get one side lower than the other side, your stem, other side stem may not come right down tight onto this one. So you have to make sure that they're the same on both sides. So you go all the way down and test it all the way down. That's now we put bedding compound on the end of the stem before we put the outside stem on. Put the rest of the screws in the front. There's a space about five or six inches apart. Now to make your screws go in easier, you can use Vaseline or grease. drive them in. The stems are on and nails are all in, so it's time to take the hull off of the mold. So we cut them off along the top here. are all cut off and everything. Now is pull it. You have to loosen it out from the mold. After the hole comes off the mold, the nails are all sticking out on the ribs. These have to be bent over so that you can clinch them afterwards. And we go down the ribs. that your, your hand won't come against points that are sticking up on working down this way. Now, 
kind of clinch, and so you have your weight and your hammer. And you hit the nails, put the weight on the point of the nail on the inside and hit it on the outside. be two end ribs in here. These can't be put on the mold. <coughs> on the mold, so we put them in afterwards, and they just go down and butt up against the stem. So you put them in. Put them in now, and and then just nail them in. On your dresser outside stem, even with the planking here, so that the gunnels will sit right in tight to the planking and in tight to the outside stem. shear line, we put this pattern on and mark it along, and this is where the gun will go. <coughs> you do that on the opposite side just to mark it so that you get the same on the opposite side. You do that on all. Now we're getting ready for the gunnels and the gunnels have to be tapered on the end. So you measure back around 26 inches this way and about half an inch in here. Then you draw a line. This mark to this mark down here. You do that on both sides. Then this this side here is cut off. Here. That gives you a nice long taper. Don't make your taper too long or you get past your deck too far. After you finish sawing, you plan it off so that you get everything nice, even, no bumps on it, nice, even curve there. Now, show you how you bend the gunnels. You have to make sure you bend them so the, the bevel side of the gun was up. On, otherwise, you'd be upside down. There are the gongs are bent. Now you clamp the gongs on to the line we put on for a guide, and then we fasten the end. Gunnels go on, we put that line on with a pattern, 
so we line our gunnels up with that up here. Then to make sure that you got a nice even gunnel line, you look down it this way and see that there isn't any bumps or any holes in it. You do that on one side and then you take the level and put a stick across like this and level it up so that you're the same on both sides. So you keep moving that along and that will tell you your level. So you do that all the full length of the canoe. Now to hold the gunnels on, <coughs> where you can take your clamps out, you, you put nails all along the so far apart. Then you can take your clamps off and that holds your gunnel on so that you can cut off all your ribs and planking even with the gun. Now you cut off all the planking that's up above the gun and the, and the ribs. Now we cut the ribs off on a bevel here, so I now sand off the the gunnels and the planking even, so that we'll send the, the tops of the ribs off. And these want to be down just a little wee bit below the seat. the edges of the outside edges of the gunnels with the rotor. We have a mark the distance from the stern to the stern, the stern port and so we mark uh, with it, with a torque block which we set in on the rib like this and mark it down here. Now these torque blocks have different angles so that they're sitting straight here but also coming straight up this way so we'll, you use a bevel square and get your angle down here and then you cut this off on the angle both top and bottom, and then put your groove in. So uh, everything's the same. Now, the decks end here, and so we have to cut these ribs off so the deck can set down in. So you cut down about the distance, or a little bit more than the thickness of the deck, and every third one you leave higher. That's so you can put a nail through here which holds the gunnels from moving up and down and splitting the, the end turn up here. So you move, mark them all the way along here. Leave the third one long. Now we'll cut off the ribs. You cut off where you're going to put your torque block. Then 
then you split that remote. You cut these nails off and drive them back out. you get your angle for your, your thorpe block. Put your trice, your bevel square down so it's you're even with the rib and even with here. And then you mark it off on your material. And then you cut it off and then you get the length of your, of your thorpe block, which will be down there it up here. Thorn block looks like this after you have the rabbit cut out and it's square like this. So you round. And then it looks like this. a little heavy on the bottom here, bring it right down to the point here, and then to take away the plainness off of it, you spread it on like this. And that's the way you make your torque block. Now the roof is cut off here for the torque block, and the torque block sits here and set it in between your ribs the top parallel with the gunwale. Now the holes that were left by taking out the rib is where we bore the holes. Now to measure for your thoughts, you take two pieces of material and the same width as what the thought block is, and you put them in so that they touch on both thought blocks, and you move them out. Drive the nails in, and then you can mark your thought just where that gives you the exact length. Now that's your side will be a little on a bevel. Put that down and that will give you the the bevel. Then you just cut these off on the ends. And make sure that your thorn is the same width as what your thorn block is. Take the chisel and go down until you're even with the thorn block. There you 
have to take quite a bit off of this side here. This is the top. So you mark it here, maybe about three eighths of an inch on both sides, both sides. Of then you take it to the bandsaw and tilt your bandsaw table until as far as you can go. And then you can cut it in this way and take all that much off. You know, we've bandsawed the edge off here and so we put it in the vise. Smooth where the we chiseled off to make everything even. Then go right along. Come to the other end. Then you round off your bottom edge. that on both sides. You can clamp it onto the vise and then shape it. inch and a half, four inch and three quarters with a grommet on it. The grommet helps to hold the screw into place there. 